everyone i'm sadia Ano. in this video i will try to review some of the basic concepts and formulas that you need to solve the math from logarithm so at first let's see how to write all the terms here suppose you have log 5 base 2 so here the 5 is at the same horizontal level of the log so the 5 is the number of the log and the 2 here is uh, is used as a subscript here it's the base of the log so 5 is the main number of the log 2 is the base and suppose if i write here 5 cube then 3 is the power or index of your main number so you have to say log of 5 to the base 2 but in short we can also say log 5 base 2 that is you need to say the number first then the base okay so suppose you have log 2 base 2 if the base and the number of log are same then the entire term will become 1 it doesn't matter what the base and number are if i write log 5 base 5 the number will become 1 if both the number and base are identical the total term will become 1 then if you have the number as 1 then whatever your base is the whole term will become 0 so if i write here 5 1100 it doesn't matter as long as the number is 1 the total term will become 0 then suppose you have log 5 base 2 with power 3 so this 3 is the power of the main number which is 5 but you can shift this 3 here you can use it as the main coefficient so you, we can write 3 log 5 base 2 that is this 3 can move its position you can shift this term so it can also go back to the power Okay, so suppose there are some maths like 2 to the power x and at the right side you have 8. In that case, you can just solve it like this one. 2 cubed, then since the numbers are 2, we can equal the power here. So, x equals to 3. But if we have 2 to the power x equals to 5, that is like this one, then we need to solve this maths using the formulas of log. Suppose you have we have 2 to the power x equals to 5 so you cannot convert this one as 2 to the power something so in this case we need to take logarithm at both the sides of the equation so 2 to the power x equals to log 5 if i'm not, uh, if there is uh, you can uh, you do not write any base it means the base is 10 it's by default anyone would think that the base is 10 so you can also write it as lg lg means that's your log with a base of 10 so that's the short form so if i'm writing lg 2 to the power x equals lg5 then you can shift this x to the front then lg log 2 equals lg5 then x equals this which is basically log 5 with base 2 okay so instead of doing all this stuff we can use the short form here whenever you need to convert any index form into logarithm 1 that is in this case the initial term was 2 to the power x that is you have something in the power that's your index form and the final answer we have log here so you can write so if I need to convert index to log, then suppose 2 to the power x equals to 5. If you need to subject this x, that is the uh, power of the number, then just write log at the right, so right side of the equation. So we had 5 here, I'm writing here log. This 2 will become the base. So this is the shortcut you can use when you need to solve this as a part of the maths, not your main maths. So, but if the marks are three or four you need to show each and every single step 
but as a part of the maths you can use the shortcut just so whenever you are subjecting the power take log at the right side of the equation then this number will become the base so for uh, example we, uh, you have 3 to the power x equals to 7 then x equals log of 7 to the base 3 so this is your index uh, this is uh, how you convert an index form into logarithmic form so if I need to convert log to index that is the inverse of this that is opposites for example you have log um, x2 equals 3 like this one and you need to find the value of x so the initial equation contains log but whenever uh, you subject uh, you subject a number of the log that is x this base will move to the right side and shift the number as a as a power that is the final answer will become 8 so that's how you can convert a logarithmic form into a index form that is the term will have a power here so this is uh, suppose you, uh, you have log x base 4 equals 2 then x will become 4 square that is 16 okay next comes the addition and sub the subtraction rule suppose you have a lot of uh, terms of log which you need to combine into one suppose in this case you have three uh, terms of log all the uh, terms has a base of two then since these three terms has log 2 as a common so I'm writing log 2 here and then the uh, number you have three number here 5 6 and 3 the terms which has uh, the terms which have positive sign the number will be multiplied but the term which has a negative sign at the beginning you need to divide that term so this will become log 10 base 2 okay so for this case you need to um, ensure that these conditions are fulfilled first for all this stuff you need to ensure that the bases are same okay so you have a you need to have a common base for example in this one all the three terms has have a base of 2 next the coefficient has to be same or better if it is 1 for example in this uh, case you have 1 here no uh, but if you had 2 here that is 2 log 5 base 2 then we can shift 2 at the power of 5 so this term would have then 25 2 then you can continue the math that is if we have 2 here the next two terms you should also have 2 okay then you can 2 take as a common or it's always better to uh, shift this number at the power and then continue with this math so it's always better to have a coefficient of 1 at the beginning and the basis should be same equal okay so if these two conditions are uh, ensured only then you can use this rule that is if the terms of the log are positive are added the number need to be multiplied and if the number uh, logarithmic terms are have negative sign then that number will be will have to be divided next i will uh, show some of the uh, examples of changing the base of log in many maths you need to have a specific base so suppose you have log 5 base 2 but for a specific maths you need 5 as the base so all you need to do is just divide this term take the reciprocal then the 5 will become the base and the 2 will become the number that is if we divide a term of log then if I am taking the reciprocal then the number and the base will change their position so this is one 
type and another one suppose you have log 5 base 2 but in this case you do not need 5 or 2 as the base you need 7 as the base that is a completely different term in that case we need to take 2 log both at the numerator and the denominator since I need 7 for any specific math for example so I am writing 7 as the base of both the terms so this 5 will become the uh, number of the numerator and this 2 will become the number of the denominator 2 was a base but right now since you are using 7 as the base 2 cannot be base any longer 2 has to be the number so whenever you need any new base just write log twice both at the numerator and denominator then replace these two position by the number and the base this number will become the number at the numerator and the base will become the number at the denominator term so basically the first one is just a shortcut uh, this is the main formula type like this is the main way you need to convert the base For, uh, suppose we had log 5 base 2 this 1 by something this reciprocal rule is derived from this main formula suppose we have 5 as the base so if I need 5 here I can write log log 5 5 this 5 will become the number here and 2 will become the number here so since 5 base 5 is 1 so this becomes your 1 by log 2 base 5 this is exactly the same result so basically this is the shortcut you can use and this is the actual main formula Okay, so for uh, lengthy maths, you need to know a lot of shortcuts. For example, we have log 5 base 2 and the power of 5 is 3. So as I have already mentioned, this 3 can be shifted here. That is, it can move to these two places. So log 3 log 5 base 2. So since 3 was the power of the main number, we can easily shift this at the very beginning of this term but whenever there are terms like suppose log 5 base 8 but if you need to write 5 base 2 that is it was 8 that means 2 cube but you are writing here 2 only that is the 3 here is removed so since the uh, this 3 is now a power of the base whenever you are taking the power of the base at the beginning you cannot take 3 here directly just like you did here you have to take 1 by 3 that is the reciprocal so uh, the power of the number can be taken directly but the power of the base has to be uh, ha uh, we, we need to take the reciprocal of that we can also in this case as you can see the initial power was a uh, base was 8 and the final base is 2 but we can also go backward for example you have 5 base 2 and you need to, uh, you need to write 5 base 8 that is the initially the power was uh, the base was 2 but now the final is final base is 2 cube that is you have um, you have bought uh, brought a new power to the base in this case you do not need to take the reciprocal you can write directly the number so these three are just shortcut this all these for example this one the main method these things have come um, this uh, main method if they give you a math of five or six marks then you cannot use the shortcut you have to use this detailed formula for example the initial term was log 5 base 8 and the final term has a base of 2 so suppose you need a base of 2 so this 5 will come here and the 8 will become the 8 will become the number of the base uh, number of the numerator denominator so this 8 we can write it as 2 cube since I can move the power here it will become 3 log 2 base 2 log 2 base 2 is 1 so basically if we ignore this entire term this is 3 at the denominator which is one third so the final answer is 
1 by 3 log 5 base 2 which is exactly what we have got here that is you can shift the power directly if it's a power of the main number but you cannot shift the power directly if the power was at the base that is it was 8 but later it become 2 cube that is you are removing the 3 so to remove the 3 that is the power of the base you need to take the reciprocal but if you are bringing a new power here suppose 2 but you need 8 that is you are bringing a power of 3 here in this case you need to bring up the same number at the very beginning so you can use this shortcut or you can solve this detailed procedure both of them will give you the same result. So this was all about logarithm. I hope it helped you. Thank you.